Alejandro Simandini is a contact whose prophecies are listened to by many politicians in South America and Asia. As a rule, his predictions are connected with one or another significant event in the politics of various countries. He predicted the beginning of the conflict in Europe in 1991. Then, as is known, a brutal campaign against Yugoslavia was carried out. Later, Sumandini unmistakably predicted when the Ethiopian-Eritrean conflict would begin, and how it would end, and many others, including the Chechen War. One could say that this man is an excellent political scientist, and calculates ahead of time the steps of certain political figures. Perhaps. But Alejandro himself claims that information is given to him by the original light creators. The fact that the heads of Chile, Argentina and Brazil listen to his opinion and allow him to speak frequently in the congresses of these countries, suggests that he has some authority. Most often he devoted his predictions to the countries of the two-third world. But this time the Argentinians spoke about the main political actors the United States and Russia. According to him, America's success lies in its calculated policy, which exists at the expense of wars around the world. In the second half of the 20th century, America was kicked out of Asia and Africa. But after the collapse of the USSR, the Americans again began to breed military conflicts and get rich on their background. All this succeeded not so much due to firepower, because the US did not fight with anyone serious, but just ironed relatively weak states. In many respects they were helped by representatives of extraterrestrial civilization Gray. But by the end of 2029, they will finally leave Earth. Either it will, or they will be destroyed by the forces of the coalition of the Pleiades. Already now, on the approaches to the solar system, the Pleiadians have almost defeated the fleet of greys in their dimension. Soon they'll begin an all-out sweep in our three-dimensional dimension. And it will end in total failure and the collapse of the United States. Allies will suffer less, but in their countries will begin to starve, and they will be forced to join the alliance of Russia and China. Thus, a powerful alliance Eurasia will be founded. And by the end of 2040, it will be reborn into a confederation of planet Earth. The countries of South America, Africa and some states of modern America will join it. But we should not think that everything will be safe and bright. In 2030 Russia may be engulfed by revolution. To prevent this from happening, it is important to eliminate internal divisions, first of all, among ourselves. Only internal unity will allow us to solve the external problems that await our state in the next 20 years. Despite this, at the June meeting in Argentina, Alejandro Simandini said that all heads of South American states should pursue the most friendly policy with Russia and the countries of the Arab world. The contactor specified that in addition to the representatives of the Pleiades coalition to our solar system is moving Armada from the constellation of the Lion. These are allies of the Pleiadians the descendants of the Halcyon races. This is where, according to legend, the first Chinese ruler came from. If this is really true, then it is possible that all the talk about the end of the era of grey and reptiloids is not groundless. For example, two world-famous conspiracy theorists David Icke and Alfred Weber have recently stated this. Maybe the founders of human civilization will soon arrive in our world and will show the true path for all united earthlings.